In this session, we'll look at how we can create a BIM 360 team project. Now, before we get started, in the interest of full disclosure, let me mention that I am logged in as an administrator on this account. I actually have multiple accounts. That way I can create a project and I can invite myself to that project so we can see what the process looks like. To create a project, I'm going to come up and click the Create Project button. I can then give the project a name. I'm going to call this Fish Pond Road Improvements. If I want, I can enter a description. Finally, I can come down and select a project avatar. There's a couple we can select from out of the box, or I can click to upload my own. I'm going to select this image that was taken of Fish Pond Road, and I'll click Open. When I'm finished, I'll come down and choose Create Project. When the project is created, I am taken directly into the project. You can see the breadcrumb trail here. Here's home where we started. We are in the Fish Pond Road Improvements Project. Currently, there is no uploaded data. At this time, I'd like to create some folders that I could upload my data to. I'll do that by clicking the New Folder button, and I'll create a folder called Plan Sheets, and I'll choose Create. I'd like to create another new folder. I'm going to call this one Aggregated Models, because I'm certain I'll have some of those. Let's create one more folder. I'm going to call this one Design Documentation, and I'll choose Create. So at this point, I have created my project. I have created a nice directory structure that I can upload content to. Finally, I'd like to invite the other members of the design team. I can do that by coming down and clicking the View and Manage Members button. I will then choose Invite, and then I can enter email addresses. When I'm finished adding members, I'll come down and choose Send Invitations. Each member on that list will now receive an email inviting them to my project. On screen is an example of the emailed invitation. To join the project, a team member will click the Access Project button. They would then sign in using their Autodesk credentials. In the event they did not have an account, they could create an account right here. Once signed in, they could then accept or reject the invitation. Now that I've accepted the invitation, you can see that I'm showing up here in the list of project members. To reduce confusion, I'm going to return to my other account. I'll do that by closing this browser and the email. And when I return, I'll press F5 to refresh this interface. As you can see, I now have two members of my project team. As the other people accept their invitations, we'll see them showing up here to the right. So at this point, I have successfully created a project. I have generated a directory structure, and I've invited the members of the team. I am now ready to start uploading project-related content, and we'll look at how we can do that in the next session. Would you like to explore other Autodesk infrastructure ideas and workflows? If so, please visit the Civil Immersion blog by scanning the QR code or by following the URL listed below.